Hello everybody, welcome back to Natalia's channel, Lovecraft Forever. Um, I like to talk today about uh, canvases that I've received from Victoria's Moon. Uh, and here is one of them that I'm working on my desk. I'm going to show you overview how this looks like. My morning coffee. The canvas, this one is 50 by 50. And as you can see, I kind of, it's a big screen. I move my computer kind of to the side of the table. Here is my drills in here. And a container from the cake, which has the lid, so I can close later and it's safe. Uh, put all tools inside in here and stuff like that. Uh, and so now my canvas kind of fit, go a little bit under computer, as you can see, to this corner. And um, just uh, my crafty mat to kind of keep my hands more comfy and softer. Um, so I have the reason why I have here three things. We will get to it. Uh, but I want to show you which canvas I've been working on. Here it is, the coffee time. This one. So I started corner just to make sure uh, we have another good luck with good canvas because uh, I heard some reviews are bad about Victoria's Moon and I do not understand why. And after I've received who's complaining about Victoria's Moon company, uh, it have me to think not to think, I know that that person is trash and every company besides those who pay her money to do that. So let's just set this clear. This is my second canvas with Victoria Moon. First I thought, okay, maybe I just got lucky and I received a good canvas. But by working on this one second time, uh, and I will show you a little bit, I already start to work on this corner. Uh, I do not see why would somebody complain and what's so bad about I basically uh, you saw my unboxing everything was fine um, the canvas the beads don't have any popping drills so is this canvas uh, so let me set my tripod on a table and I'm just gonna show you a few points for you to remember when you order this diamond painting and we will talk a little bit about so as you can see, I have here two trays of black drills. And this is Victoria's Moon black drills. And for comparison, this is Dreamer Design Beads um, drills. So they both 310. And I'm just going to tell you that not the best black drills in Victoria's Moon on this canvas. They do have... Because obviously these beads, I can tell that this is from recycled plastic. And Dreamers Design Care, no recycled plastic. So that's why they are a little different. Um, and if I can compare to you like close to the... They both shine as you can see. But if I get close, let me zoom maybe close to the table. Guys, the light is not very plain good, but if I can compare them side by side, you could probably see that, first of all, this drills more even size from Dreamer Design. Uh, and they line up much easier in those grooves if I after I shake it. Um, this one, if I shake it, they kind of mostly kind of fall into there. This is, I just got actually good line up them. But they are a little bit different in, si in sizing. And also they have a little bit of those um, sticking on the sides. Uh, beads like connectors thing. But not too many. A uh, few beads has those um, kind of like a... Maybe holes, not holes. A little bit like a dot. It's not exactly hole. Um, but if a few pieces that like not exactly beads, not much trash at all. I would say it's not dirty beads. They just uh, upcycle plastic, so they not like perfect, perfect beads. And this beads to compare Dreamer Design is more, a little bit more shinier, 
and more black I would say like a blackest black and this one more I can see through like it's like a dark dark um, brown well they are black but not as black as black if that makes sense so after all um, they are good beads and the rest of the beads um, they little this um, 310 I kind of never like to play with uh, black beads anyway but they are a little bit smaller to compare to some other colors drills the other uh, drills are much better quality than 310 but it's hard to find 310 uh, good quality drills from many company I would say they kind of very similar right so I'm gonna put my dreamers beads aside so we don't spill it um, and I want to show you a little bit I'm just gonna put them back in a baggie after all this is good beads guys I don't say it's bad bad I just compare you that this is not like the best that I work with but they don't have a trash a pr pretty clean bag if you could see it through the bag I don't know if you can see you you don't see the trashy spots this is a good good beats I like it okay I like it but not as best how about that so now I'm gonna show you a little bit um, other thing that I came across here just to warn you so you don't don't uh, mix up there's some uh, symbols in here very similar and I don't want you to get mistaken and do the wrong uh, just for in case you're gonna order exactly the same uh, diamond painting and it's actually gonna be such a beautiful diamond painting I already love it what I'm doing I like the shading picks in this diamond painting you will see a little bit later um, I like the way colors connect with each other have from darker to lightest to create the shadow effect it's beautiful um, in here symbol on a very very bottom and number five I would say you have to really watch out okay look at uh, symbol 25 and number five they almost the same instead this one more skinny and this one more circle you see that so you have to watch out for this um, symbol not to get mixed up in the process of your drilling now there's another symbol that could be um, get a trouble for you it's the symbol like this number four it's like a flower or cross I don't know this one with the four kind of leaves and then you have here with three leaves and then you have where just a minute let me find it oh well, this one this one same same as this one but this one have a colors on a, kind of like a colored symbol okay you see that okay but on a canvas it's more like an orange so you not gonna very much mistake this one but they are similar also the symbol S in here and the dollar sign you have to watch out for that one and there's a square in here for example square with one corner or this square sometimes in the canvas could look very similar uh, but just pay attention what you're doing and you should be fine the other symbols I think it's all pretty much kinda clear right it's okay no I don't see problems um, just well the, it, they have a two arrow but they are totally different this one black pointing up and this is clear pointing the sideway to the corner okay so now I'm gonna show you the symbols uh, this this two symbol on the canvas and you need to be careful if you're working with multiplacer because on the um, if you work with multiplacer you probably can mistake and I'm just gonna keep my cell phone to hold the 
Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I can zoom in, even though it's good enough to focus. I don't know, guys, if this is going to be good for you to look or not, but that's the symbol in here. Um, like this one is see together. I don't know if you're going to see it. This is the three leaf in here, and then you have four. They have absolutely same background. I hope you can see it, the difference. So they are the same background, but you have to, if you work with multiplacer, you could probably mistake and put all the way across. So you have to watch out for the symbol. Um, and the one that I said, it's uh, with the colors, same one, but it has a orange background, so it's pretty much more visible. So you can place them first, actually, then go after the other one. Um, and now I'm going to show, see, like I already did a little bit. And maybe I'm just going to grab a camera in my hands again to show you, actually. Um, let's go for a ride, guys. So hold on. I just decided to take a camera back to my hands to show you, actually. Uh, here is I work. So as you can see, they are beautiful. And let's let's see from far kinda away. You see what I'm talking about? Like a shading in colors in here to make it like a shadow from those diamonds. And in here it, there's a lots of colors in here, believe it or not. And you can see they are line up okay, but not as perfect straight as I would love to because I do work with this canvases only by using a one placer guys this one can be same as my sunflowers canvas you have to place only with one uh, with one placer because this is tough um, canvas when you place your bead you can't move around because this glue is really grubby and when you using a multi placer it will line up not straight and you can't move them anymore so it will take me for a while that's why I not finish my sunflowers yet because I work in little by little and because you guys requested um, many different videos and I'm trying to catch up uh, but I just want to do at least a little bit by a little bit just to show you how these beads look like and I say they are gorgeous look look how they line up they beautiful beads and I did not pick any better or worse I did all uh, whatever I grabbed from the tray and I don't see any damage beads in here or with the holes only something shining in here maybe a little tiny dot but it doesn't look like it's whole here is the black beads uh, in black beads it, they look like a little bit smaller size that's what I was talking about See, like, for example, in here, they sit more tight, plus it's really, really zoom in camera. Uh, in a black one, we can see a little bit more gaps, but that's ensure you that you're not going to have any popping drills, guys. And as I always say, I will take a little bit spacing instead of popping drills. When you go from, uh, you know, far away, you don't see those lines anymore. You see what I mean? You put your picture on a wall, frame it, and you're not going to see any of those lines, but you're not going to have problem the drills will coming out. So this is so far corner I did a little bit. And this kind of border, as you can see, go um, all the way around of the canvas, because that's what our picture all about. Okay, so I'm going to drill with you a little bit if you wish, and we're going to... Uh, continue we're gonna pick some of the color I don't know which one maybe this kind of like a four leaf flowers I don't even know what kind of symbol what would you call okay so let's work a little bit together and then you will know that you know do you like it or not this canvas our flower symbol is 436 DMC code and here is an tray that you can see beads. Look. 
they are beautiful beads you see that okay as much as I can zoom to the camera before losing the focus you see like this one it's so much better beads I say uh, mostly black beads guys and you know I'm not lying mostly it's a trouble beads I just I don't know what in that plastic that they kind of not so greatest but as you can see this line line up so nice and they look absolutely even so it is beautiful drills and they are shiny they are shiny it's not bad I don't see any garbage I just put this on a tray it looks really clean to me so I'm gonna continue now work with this kind of like a four leaf flower and hopefully we stock in I'm not gonna mistake and go up and do the wrong one symbol so you have to stop me when I do that <laughs> so because I use only one at the time I don't have to really line up them on a tray it will go okay anyway because I'm picking one by one now when you purchase diamond painting like for example this one I would think oh my god I have to do all you know one by one it's done it's gonna take me so long because I don't want to use multiplacer but you have to remember that why in the first place you purchase this diamond painting because you like sparkle right you like to work with little pieces like mosaic you like the process of it and then that's why you don't have to rush to like it's not marathon to finish your diamond painting in one or two days uh, you just need to enjoy this process itself because this is such a relaxing thing to do um, and I just want to say that I had a question that um, new a new person who just uh, started uh, this craft and very new in diamond painting and she say how can you do I cannot remember who but if you can recognize yourself then maybe uh, I will answer your question um, she say how come you doing uh, so many diamond paintings and so fast how come your back or neck not sore she say I started on my first diamond painting and I was like so sore neck and back and I'm gonna tell you the why this happening and how to avoid uh, first of all the drilling space table desk uh, it need to be really comfortable for you in height not too low not too high if your table is too high your shoulders will be always kind of lifted up forced to go higher and you will have sore if your table too low you will lean to the table and get sore you see what I'm doing in here there's a three and four so hopefully when I talk I don't mistake and put another one I have to remember four pedals not three so yeah that's very important to remember about keep your posture straight as well like right now as you see I'm working at my computer desk and this is the most comfortable table for me to work first of all it's staying next to the window so it's always good light and I do have a table overhead light so I need some extra light like for example right now it's really grumpy rainy day so I can turn light on and the height of the table or height of your chair that you sit in so all this component together create or pain or join or like a joy for your diamond painting so you really have to make sure your table are comfortable uh, if you're working on computer chair like I do there's a settings on computer chair that you can or raise your chair or lower just to make uh, more comfortable for you to work on and if you feel like you get tired just get up from computer and go make some cup of tea relax a little bit don't sit too long 
because if you're not used to it, you're probably gonna have sore. Sometimes I do have sore um, neck if I work too long, but I'm just too stubborn to quit because I wanna finish. And that's the only point I could get like over tired because I just wanna finish, like that's it, I wanna finish and um, start a new project. So that's the way. But just, you know, when you purchase something beautiful, just do slowly, don't, don't rush, you will finish and then you will step, put the pic, you know, you're gonna put the picture on a wall, you step back, enjoy looking on it and think, I did this by myself with my own hands and it looks so beautiful. Every guest who will come to my house will enjoy this piece of art and I will tell them that I did it. So, and you should be very proud of yourself. You complete it because many um, people quit after first try because not everybody can handle such a tiny diamonds. Uh, when I received my first diamond painting, I was shocked how small those diamonds. When you're looking in a picture on a website, of course, it's zoom to the max to show you those drills. And they tell you the size of the drills. But when you receive them, you're just like, oh my God, I didn't think they would be that small. Well, yes, it's 2.5 millimeters. What you expecting? So, yes, not everybody ready for this kind of challenge and people with bad vision could be a challenge for them and it's not for everybody. So if you completed at least one diamond painting, I applaud you and you did a great job. And I hope you did like this um, craft. You enjoyed with the process. You enjoyed to see how those beads line up, how they start to sparkle when certain light or sunshine hit on your canvas. And I have so many beautiful videos up there completed diamond painting with the shots of video outside in the sunshine. That's my like favorite thing to do because I just like amused how gorgeous they look like on the sun. So when you put your picture on a wall somewhere close that sun would hit you know how sun moving around and hit certain wall in your house when that sun hit your picture you will get such a beautiful sparkles that it just you can't uh, walk by and not to smile it's just a happy thing and you know you created this kind of art so guys, uh, by working on this canvas, I can assure you that this is beautiful company because first that okay, maybe I got lucky because why somebody would complain about and I saw many more uh, review, positive review, very good review and that's a review from people who tell them the truth, not those pay people that would uh, lie for the company just to make sure people would buy certain product. I like my opinions, honest, I don't like to... If some company asking me to review and give them only positive review before I even post on my video, like I have before people contacted me and say, we want to see your video first and then you can post if we like. Oh really? No, I don't think so. If I'm doing a job, I'm recording my video, the video is going to be my own opinion, not what you think. That's why I am a reviewer, to make sure my subscribers, my viewers will get the true about certain product and not what company need uh, for people to know. So that's why it's really, really for me important to guys let you know if somebody misleads you about Victoria's Moon, you might have to think twice. Are those channels telling you the truth or are they just trying to trash this company for the sake of suck it up to the others? So 
I don't know, maybe you did have a bad experience uh, with, uh, with Victoria's Moon. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, I know they pack in nicely in nut boxes, which is always plus instead of being from Amazon packed into the um, just the envelopes. It's always good to receive package in the box. Um, unfortunately, um, this diamond painting when I unbox, and you probably already saw the video, uh, that uh, my mailman forced this box into my box mail. So that's why I got a little bit uh, crease. But other than that, company sent it in perfect condition. So you, I cannot complain. The beads is beautiful. You can see how they line up nicely. And I'm right now working really slow, just enjoying my time. And I'm um, doing a technique that I do in uh, placing my beads into the corner. Uh, you know what I mean? My lower corner for you. Let me see if I can zoom a little bit more even. Oh, please. No, not today. Okay. So, this is um, bottom line and this corner. This is what I see. You look in it from this side. So, I do not see a line behind these beads. You can see on a camera. I don't. So, you see a little bit line in here. Kind of like beads not fit properly, right? But, that's what you see. What I place bead... I place bead on my left corner and bottom line so I don't care what's behind that line because next bead when I gonna place on the top I will line up exactly same way to the bottom and left corner so you're not gonna see now this line in here so that's how um, you create the most perfect lines if you working with one drill and make sure you your your lines gonna be much more better guys than with the multiplacer that's what I'm trying to say so what do you see you think I'm not doing the straight lines uh, it's because it's your side view my side view I'm doing perfect in here it just uh, the way camera position uh, we see a little bit different angle of the drill. Okay, so this is really mixed in here, those two sh two uh, symbols, as I say, you know, the three and four petals. So I'm just hoping while I'm talking, I'm not going to place wrong beads. Okay. And I think this video will go on the air after I unbox my um, diamond painting by custom. So if you do not see that video and you're looking for a custom diamond painting, it could be company for you. So please check it out that video as well and you will see my first impression when I opened that mystery box. So how is everybody doing today? Oh, I'm gonna tell you something. Something big that's coming in my life for the next, um, no, not starting yet, but guys, I'm enjoying it. Six weeks fitness challenge. Yes, I did. Uh, so what that mean? I sign up yesterday. Um, no, for you it's going to be a little bit different time, but for me uh, it was yesterday. Uh, it's going to be my husband and I. We decided to join this. It was advertisement on Facebook, I think. So we saw the advertisement and we called. This is in our city. Um, six weeks challenge. Uh, it will give you a program that you download up to your cell phone 
it's gonna be um, I will talk about this a little bit later as well when uh, I will go to a first kind of like meeting with everybody first workout uh, to meet with nutrition physician and all this uh, trainers so this program you pay for one person $250 for six weeks and then uh, first day they will measure you measure weight in your um, talk about uh, give you uh, proper meals what to um, follow the plan and on the end of six weeks you can earn to win I think one person per group the best who will show the best results will win money back and free membership to the gym for a year so I think that's great um, motivation to kind of work harder for the chance to win because we wanted to join gym for quite a bit and I just like keep procrastinated procrastinated and then with the injuries of my husband and some my problem health wise we decided so this is the opportunity to learn and get healthier and get a little bit better habit of eating uh, take care of our body so working with the personal trainers instead of just to go to the gym and don't know what you're doing up there by yourself looking at other people sweating and you just like just sitting and resting on the machines so this is great opportunity to learn something new and I would thrill to win of course you know free membership but uh, it's not much for me as to lose weight as I am um, actually I weighed in myself yesterday I kind of lost a little bit weight I'm I'm 114 pound I'm kind of going like from from 115 to 118 was in the last time it was 118 I think uh, no 115 well I lost a little bit over the summer because I'm just not food person and uh, my problem is I eat not enough I totally need to learn how to drink water I'm just coffee person and the coffee I know that my face skin look different it's not as healthy looking as I would love to so I try to quit my coffee and it's just so hard I need to learn to drink water so kudos to you who drink lots of water a day I really sometimes I force myself to eat something salty so then I can be more thirsty and drink water um, yeah that's very weird but that's what it is so we will start on the end of September but they will meet up with us uh, last week of September to kind of like to prepare us for a workout and it's going to be three times a week if you want to show up every day you can show up every day but the main training it's gonna be um, three times a week so for me it's not about losing weight it's about tone muscles to build some muscles because I used to be a very fit person uh, I was a professional choreographer uh, for those who don't know I dance I know what training all about I work many hours in training um, dancing and lots of exercise and stuff like that and then after some injuries I it's just slow me down and now I call myself a chair person like computer chair person because you know how it's say couch potato well I'm not sitting on a couch and watching TV in fact I don't even watch on TV I'm um, computer is my friend because here is my friends on YouTube I record I upload I drill so this is kind of like my thing for almost all day long so there's not much exercise I'm doing at all so I feel like uh, I need to get my legs stronger, I need to get my arms stronger because I do uh, suffer time from time with frozen shoulder 
it's really painful right now okay i'm okay but it's still kind of it's limit lock what i can do let's just put that way so uh, that's why I want to work out and with the help of professionals I can learn something that I can um, do later on on my own I know I'm not gonna win challenge because uh, I'm sure it's gonna be people who not just want to build the muscle it's gonna be lots of people who who will be heavier and wants to lose some weight to save themselves a longer life so I'm sure they will have more progress than I am but I'm just gonna be happy to be with the group of people who wants to have a healthy life alright so now I'm gonna switch color okie dokie how are we doing here um, I'm gonna put this bits back into the baggie Usually I do off the canvas just for in case beads get spilled and stick to the glue. So now I will see which one is more comfortable in here. I think now I'm gonna pick this three leaf and because I have a washi tape in here, I'm just keep uh, looking on my it's a 738. 738 738 is cream color all these beads are beautiful quality the only black one I feel like it's from different blend because it's uh, it just feels and looks different even the way it's lined up in a tray so yes let me get you back close and we're gonna work a little bit more on the tree leaf flowers I call them flowers more like a clover leaf this one maybe I was working a little bit on my sunflowers uh, that I did not show you yet. I work. I started uh, on the top of the canvas, and I did video with you together about that. And now I started on the bottom of my canvas to just to you know the way it's comfortable for you. There's no way wrong or right have to start your diamond painting canvas from left corner from right corner it all depends how it's comfortable for you maybe you left-handed that for you will be more comfortable probably to start from left side um, and uh, it's all about your personality and how you like to drill so guys there's uh, absolutely no right or wrong whatever you're doing you're doing a right this two colors of beads they line up nicely I like I like this color it's like a cherry oopsie yeah the only thing about this canvas it's a hard canvas to work on it because of the strong glue but that's a good sign right it's mean your beads will stick so hard then you can shake and throw this canvas later your beads not gonna fall out so that's a good stuff uh, so far by working on two canvases from Victoria's Moon I don't think I just got lucky I think they are good company and if you don't believe me go ahead and order but I think I explain and show as much as I can guys and my review are always always honest my opinion 
but my opinion could be totally different from your opinion. If you're not in my group on Facebook, uh, you can also, if you are a new person to diamond painting, you can find lots of support in our group, Diamond Painting for All Ages. Uh, come in, join our group, and any questions you have, the girls always will somebody answer your question, help you to start this beautiful hobby. Um, and tips and tricks and I posted yesterday a link because very often um, when I do my videos the people asking uh, where I get in my washi tape it looks red right now but it's really it's brown color it's just um, reflecting right now so and I posted um, I know girls chip in and post it whatever uh, you know in their store but the particular post I posted for those people who don't live in Canada or US and they don't have a Walmart or dollar store or Michael store you know because for us in here it's easy to find washi tape it's almost like every craft store section but uh, that was linked particularly for people who live somewhere else across the sea maybe and they don't have this fancy stores with the craft and that's why that was a link to aliexpress because i think aliexpress ship global almost everywhere i'm not sure do they ship every everywhere or there is some country that aliexpress doesn't ship please let me know if you know and for, it was a beautiful washi tape actually I found because lots of right now making um, those diamond paintings like a starry night and washi tape was matching starry night washi tape I thought that was so beautiful who were working on this kind of canvases and to have the same washi tape to cover up the excess um, glue in here and this side of the glue it's actually got me perfect washi tape because that's how far glue is sticking out uh, because this is a double-sided glue I do prefer to work on a pour on glue it's easier glue to work on and it just uh, canvas look different so I wonder I hope Victoria's Moon will watch this video and maybe consider to maybe change supplier and produce their canvases from now on on a pour on glue that would be uh, probably would be more expensive canvas i'm not sure which glue is more expensive but uh, it would be a much better quality diamond paint and um, it's just the feeling of pour on glue much different than double-sided glue because very often if uh, you receive a folded canvas like I did this one that my Melman stick uh, diamond painting box into the smaller mail box so the box got squished and automatically created an uh, air bubble under the glue because the double sided sheet separated from the canvas itself so if this would be happen with the pour on glue the air wouldn't be go there because um, it doesn't create uh, separations but it could be squished together so I don't know it's like a 50 50 yeah I tried this canvas with the tweezers and I feel like with this stylist it's easier to work on this particular canvas I feel like I'm doing a much more straight than I would do with the tweezers plus it's easier to put 
between two like between beads with the pen then tweezers wouldn't fit between beads it's only good for the like a checkerboard design and then fill in with the pen it's just a faster this way and it's not like I'm on a rush to really finish I would love to finish fast so you can see how this look like but guys I'm, I'm telling you it's gonna take me for a while so um, that's why I'm doing a right now review on a little corner just to show you that it's beautiful I love the beads combination and I cannot wait to actually get to the part when I will have uh, actual cups of coffee make because it's like a, a red and black uh, cups, tea cups and coffee cups can't wait to get those yummy colors but what I'm thinking how I gonna work I'm gonna create these borders of the diamonds design all the way around canvas and then I will go slowly to the center so I'm not gonna do like a whole color at the same color DMC like I usually work by the color uh, by go through almost all canvas because it's this um, glue canvas a little bit more difficult to work with uh, I will do like a corner by corner but fill in with uh, with all DMC colors and then just finish kind of like a frame around and then go to the center so I will slowly will show you progress how I work but I think so far, um, so far I think that you, you can see that it's coming out beautiful, right? I like it. I like it. And this is your opinion if you like it or not. And as I say, look at it. Those beads are beautiful. Even those black ones, as I can say that uh, black beads less quality than the rest of the beads they still look gorgeous look how they, they are sparkle it's gonna be absolutely beautiful when it's finished and very good news no pop and drills not on my sunflowers diamond painting from Victoria's Moon not on a coffee cup they line up nicely so I don't have to worry about this diamond painting and uh, this is my, I would say, another favorite company to order from because they produce good canvases and they ship nicely in the boxes. The printed area, that's the size of the canvas, not like uh, all the way to, to the end of the canvas like uh, Amazon or uh, Aliexpress, lots of sellers ship like that. So, when you order from them, you order like real uh, good um, size, the actual size. And I believe I do have a uh, discount code. Um, I will link it up under this video. I believe I do have the discount code uh, for you to save 10% when you shop. So, check that out. And I think for now, we're going to say goodbye so you not get too tired of me rambling too much i'm too much talky talky today i guess i don't know <laughs> okay guys i love you and i wish you sparkle drilling day if you're doing the drills and if you're doing a cross stitch or beaded cross stitch oh i really want to have some beaded cross stitch um to find somewhere very very good canvas and for those who ask me, they saw me doing a cross stitch and they asked me, are you still doing a diamond painting? I hope so. Oh yeah, you better believe it. I am diamond painting. I'm not quitting any soon. But I do have um, lots of product that I guys asked to review. So that's why I kind of mix and match my videos because I have to kind of cover because if companies send me for free product, uh, at least as my thank you, I need to do a video uh, for you. And then the rest of the video I do, it's my own love for the passion. Because usually when company uh, contact to do review, 
um, they want to like unboxing to show what they have in their store and then uh, you know like a middle point maybe and a finished project to show viewers how diamond painting look like on the end which I do anyway so it's like not a problem for me at all because instead of uh, two or three video as they want it usually just one video I do like 10 or more depends how long I work on a certain project and this is not considering like a job or something this is just a fun and my passion for crafts I love to talk to you it make me feel I have uh, company in here in my house I'm not alone and I just have a blast to you know show you show you my passion try to make you passionate about something as well and uh, if you never tried diamond painting yet please try because this is such a fun thing to do lots of work involved but it's fun to do so on this note I say please uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and if you hit the notification bell on the top corner YouTube will give you a hint when I have new video uploaded so that way you will stay always um, you know connected with me and thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next episode